Ai, Got your lock on the back. It's on the bottom there. All in the bottom. Is that Sergeant? You lock. That's it. Unlock it, pick it up, spin it around. Right. 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 I got about 20 rounds left. 20 rounds! United States Military Academy, the nation's oldest service academy, gives you a chance to become the best you can be. West Point develops our nation's future leaders at a time when the world demands leadership. As a member of the Corps of Cadets, you will be taught, trained, and challenged in academics, military skills, and in physical development. It's tough, but becoming the very best is never easy. You are among a select group of outstanding young men and women from every state in the nation who have been offered admission. In a few weeks, you will take the first step in a four-year West Point experience. Hello, and congratulations on being offered a spot in the West Point class. There are two purposes for this video that we're sending to you and to your parents. The first is for you to meet the military leadership of West Point. The second is for you to be able to see a sequence of activities of cadet basic training beginning with reception day and ending in reorganization week when academic year begins in August. The credential of your class is impressive. Scholarship, leadership, and experience. I have reviewed the activities of your class uh, extensively during this admissions year and I'm impressed with how many of you have gone beyond high school into college and into the service, military service. Uh, in fact, some 40 members of your class will have had service in the Persian Gulf uh, as members of the military. I thought it would be interesting for you to hear from a member of this plebe class who was in your shoes a year ago uh, as he was contemplating what the West Point experience was all about. Cadet Dominic Edwards came to West Point from North Carolina, but also from duty with the 3rd Armored Division and a year at the United States Military Academy Prep School. Cadet Edwards, uh, I know you were the commander for your plebe class during plebe parent week just a few weeks ago when, when the parents all visited West Point and you had a whole uh, range of activities. Uh, what were the uh, biggest challenges that you had uh, during plebe parent week as the commander? Sir, the biggest challenge was balancing all the different duties that I had. I had my military duties and the obligations to the class, as well as my academics and my physical training to keep on top of. So balance is important. Yes, sir. I think that's important for cadet life in general, and I think it'll go beyond plebe year for you and for all other cadets. Don't you? Yes, sir. The plebe class is always looking for advice. What would you tell this newest West Point plebe class? Sir, if I had to give a little bit of advice to the class, I'd tell them just to keep their heads straight and to keep their sense of humor and to never, ever lose sight of the goals and the reasons why they came to the academy to start with. That's the most important thing. If they can do those three things, sir, they'll make it through and they'll be successful. That's great advice. And I want to thank you for being here with us today, Cadet Edwards. And now it's time for you to meet the military leadership of West Point. West Point has a unique leadership structure compared to other colleges and universities. West Point superintendent is not only a college president, but mayor of the West Point community and the commander for the military staff and faculty. Lieutenant General Howard Graves has broad experience as a commander of military units and installations. As Commandant of the Army War College, he was responsible for the final levels of professional military education for senior officers of the Army, including many who held key command and staff positions in Operation Desert Storm. At the national command level, he has held several key joint service assignments, most recently as assistant to the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff from 1989 to 1991. 
1961 West Point graduate, Lieutenant General Graves returned to the Academy in July 1991 to serve as its 54th superintendent. Congratulations on being selected to become a member of the Corps of Cadets. Congratulations not only to you, but to your family, your parents, and your entire community. You can be proud of what you have achieved. You're now about to join some of the most outstanding students from across this great country of ours. You're about to begin four years of growth, of adventure, of excitement. Your acceptance at West Point tells us that you have what it takes to become a leader. And that's what we do at West Point. We develop leaders. We're not a normal college. Our very reason for being is to produce leaders for the nation. Now, for that reason, the four years here will be very demanding, very challenging, and they are not for everyone. Come prepared to work hard, to play hard. Most of all, though, don't come unless you really want to. Don't come because your parents want you to, or because your coach is pressuring you to, or because everyone is so proud of you that you don't know how to say that you really would rather do something else. Come because you know what we do and you're prepared to do the work necessary to become a West Point graduate. If you do, if you join us, you'll be joining two centuries of very proud tradition. I look forward to seeing you this summer. as a cadet and the military skills you'll develop during the coming months are the focus of the Commandant of Cadets. During cadet basic training, you will learn military courtesies, rifle marksmanship, many other basic skills of the soldier, and the importance of excellence in leadership. Brigadier General Robert F. Foley, graduate of the U.S. Military Academy, class of 1963, reports to West Point with you this summer as the 63rd Commandant of Cadets. General Foley served as company commander in the 2nd Battalion, 27th Infantry, Vietnam in 1966 and was awarded the Medal of Honor. Cited for outstanding personal leadership under intense enemy fire and for his magnificent courage, selfless concern for his men and professional skill, General Foley went on to serve in numerous command and staff positions during his distinguished Army career, including an assignment as a tactical officer at the United States Military Academy. Since February 1991, General Foley has served as Assistant Division Commander, 2nd Infantry Division in Korea. General Foley has exemplified leadership excellence and as Commandant, will work closely with the Superintendent, the Dean, and the Cadet Cadre to ensure that new cadets understand and achieve the goals set during their first six weeks of cadet basic training. The academic program at West Point offers you a wide variety of choices and challenges. There are over 30 fields of study and 19 optional majors from which you can choose, helping you develop a solid career foundation. Classes are small, which enables you to achieve success. Professors and instructors are always available when you need extra help. The curriculum reflects more than 185 years of changes, both in the military profession and in higher education. Brigadier General Gerald E. Galloway became Dean of the Academic Board in July 1990, having served as Chairman of the Department of Geography and Environmental Engineering. The Dean has taught at West Point since 1979. During his 33 years of service, General Galloway supervised Army engineer activity in Vietnam in the early 70s, and later commanded the Vicksburg District Corps of Engineers, developing water resources in the lower Mississippi Valley. Congratulations on your admission to the United States Military Academy. We're delighted that you will be coming to West Point this summer and look forward to seeing you. I'm standing here in Thayer Hall, our principal academic building. Behind me, you see cadets moving to their classrooms and officers moving to the same areas to carry out the instructions. Many of the people who are in this film will be with you when you begin academics in middle August of this year. We look forward to the challenges that lie ahead in the academic arena. We're quite proud of our academic program and all that it offers. We 
we will give you the opportunity to grow during your four years at West Point, to be inspired, to instill within you creativity, intellectual curiosity, a knowledge of other cultures, the ability to work with the math and sciences, to become historically minded, to communicate both orally and in writing. You will find the program challenging and demanding, but certainly very interesting. This is a typical classroom. These classrooms are the hallmark of the West Point educational process. For here, we put one instructor and 15 to 20 students in a closed environment. There's no place for the students to hide, and similarly, there's always direct access for the student to his or her instructor. Where did they get this number from? One over? Your intellectual development will begin on the day you arrive at West Point. The stamina, self-discipline, and time management skills you develop in cadet basic training will put you in good stead when you enter this classroom. I know many of you. I've met you around the country. I know the records of most all of the rest, and I can assure you that you represent top quality. Your class is going to be a great one and will add to the reputation of the Military Academy. I wish you the best and look forward to seeing you at West Point. Reception day at the United States Military Academy is close at hand. It marks the beginning of a challenging summer of military training for you. It is difficult, but not impossible. It will test you and develop you. You may feel discouraged and frustrated at times, but never give up. Becoming a leader takes a great deal of work. What you're about to see is but a small slice of the West Point experience. It is the first of many building blocks to the future. Challenge yourself like you have never been challenged before. Become the very best you can be. Today is both a culmination and a beginning. It's a culmination of a long, vigorous, arduous selection process. And I congratulate you for being here. Right now, you're called candidates. Later today, you will be called new cadets. At this time, you will give me your attention. Keep your eyes on me at all times, so I know that you're paying attention. I'm cold. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, see the same thing I seen, right? Yeah. Just being moved towards my body. Yes, yes, yes. So before we get the show started, we're going to have a little motivational cheer, okay? I think Iraq needs to get a clue. So on the count of three, we're going to say, Iraq, get a clue. No, we are not men. We are beasts, and you are. 